Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. I hope to fillah continue on in our study of the hadith course. We reach the fourth hadith and we'll try to be brief and just bring about some of the benefits of the hadith. An Abi Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, kullu salami, kullu salam min al-nas alayhi sadaqa. كل يوم تطلع تطلع فيه شمس تعدل بين اثنين صدقة وتعين الرجل الرجل في دابته فتحمله عليها أو ترفع له عليها متاع متاعه صدقة وكلمة الطيبة صدقة وبكل خطوة تمشيها إلى الصلاة صدقة وطميت الأذى عن طريق صدقة رواه بخاري ومسلم In this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم And in the beginning of the hadith it's actually pronounced كل سلامة سلامة And سلامة refers to the body part in this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the hadith of Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى and it was reported on the authority of Abu Huraira that he said, Allah's Messenger said, Every part of a person's body must perform a charity every day the sun comes up. To act justly between two persons is a charity. To help a man with his mount, lifting him into it, or hoisting his belongings onto it is a charity. A good word is a charity. Every step you take towards prayer is a charity. And removing harmful things from the path is a charity. And this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet وسلم, the Prophet وسلم, tells us that it is an obligation upon us to give charity every day, some sort of sadaqah. And then he goes on to explain that charity is not only giving food or money to the poor. So that's very important. Sadaqah and zakat, it, is a, it purifies us. It purifies your wealth and it purifies yourself from sin. The sadaqah here, though, is the sadaqah of deeds, of doing righteous deeds. Even something, some, something small as smiling at someone is a type of sadaqah, so it shows us the mercy and the beauty of Islam, because many people try to paint Islam in a negative way. But in fact, Islam, even something as simple as smiling at someone is sadaqah. He then goes on to explain that charity is not only giving food or money to the poor, but that just arbitration. So if you're just between two people, that people need you to judge between them, and you do it justly, not giving favor to this one or favor to this one, this is a type of sadaqah, just that you were just. You had adl, because Allah is al adl. Helping others in small tasks, uh, speaking kindly to people, Walking to the mosque to pray, even clearing the path of harmful things such as nails, broken bottles, and other things are all forms of sadaqah. So all of those small things, things we don't even think about, are sadaqah. If you help an old lady into the elevator, or you help an old lady climb up some stairs. In fact, in the haram the other day, uh, mashallah, there was an old lady, she was coming from uh, Sa'i, from Safa wa Marwa. She was finishing, she finished her umrah, and she had a cane, and she was going up some stairs, you know, and she was very slow, and then there was a, I think it was an Afghani brother, and he came down, and he just helped this woman. He helped her by the arm, and she said, no, get on this side and help me. He got reward for that. He beat me, because I was actually thinking of that. I was thinking of helping the old lady, because I saw her, and I said, this is definitely difficult for her to get up these stairs. So, the shahid, or the point is, is that these small things that we see, those small kindnesses, al ma'un, like in Surah Al Ma'un, those small kindnesses are sadaqa. Lending someone something that they need, this is a type of sadaqa. Being just between people is a type of sadaqa. Some of the benefits of this hadith. Uh, this hadith shows us the obligation to perform good deeds every day. That every day we don't have an excuse. You can't say, oh, I don't have any money. Uh, I'm not feeling well today, blah, blah, blah. No, you can do something small by smiling at someone, saying something nice to someone. 
something like this. Helping someone with their bags. Helping someone uh, get in their car or come out of their car if it's an elderly person or helping them offering, oh, I can help you uh, carry your bags. This is Sadaqa. Also, another benefit of this hadith that charity may take many forms. In addition to uh, the third point being Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love for his creation and making it so easy for them to obtain a reward from him. So Allah it, makes it so easy for us to do good deeds. Even if we don't have much, we can uh, do some, some charity. Also, this hadith illustrates for us that also all of this is from Iman. This is all a part of our Iman. The Prophet Sallallahu mentioned that the Adna, the lowest level of Iman, Amatata Adha Am Tariq, is to remove a harm from the road. So all of these actions, smiling, all of these things are sadaq, are sadaqah, but they're also part of your iman. And if you do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your iman will increase, not decrease. Never will your iman decrease for, for doing righteous deeds in sadaqah. Likewise, as the ulama say, and as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, that your wealth will not decrease when you do actually pay sadaqah, when you do charity to someone. It actually will increase, and it'll increase you in this life as well as the hereafter. So you never really lose. So it's good to be generous with your wealth and be generous with your, uh, with your good deeds and generous with your time even. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.